What's up guys, and just so you know, we are going to go to Clop Hill today. That's Clop Hill. Clop Hill is supposed to be the most haunted this place. And, oh, hang on. I'm going with Barrows. Barrows, he sent me a message. What's he got to say? Okay, so the problem we have here, Richard, is uh, I haven't seen the message until just now. And, um, basically, I'm, uh, kind of, maybe already on your road <laughs> um so because basically yeah the traffic has been so bad it's taken me nearly an hour to get to you the stalker the stalker the prayer he's talking my ass alpha you fucking out of you <laughs> hey, hey you so yo <laughs> You good? It's so early, bro. Yeah, I know, I know, because the boss here, I thought it was going to be like two hours. Okay, man, no worries. So, yes, we're going to Clop Hill with Larry, and I'm bringing along Alfie. Alfie is literally going to be starting up his first little channel of uh, hunting, exploring, whatever he's going to call it. Um, I'll leave his link in the description down below. And as you can see, probably you're thinking about what's all this crap behind me. I actually do airsoft as well. I'm in the middle of making my own helmet. I've got a channel for that, and if you want to see it, I'll leave that link down below as well in the description. I'll get footage of you putting that shit in a bit. I can't even see something because of the sun. Yeah, I'm looking <sighs> the boots for the shot, mate. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we'll show. We have to just uh, work around it. So basically, we just picked up Larry. This is this is Larry. He's uh... Hi. <laughs> right, so wait, so where are we going now? Well, we're going to go and get coffee. coffee. <laughs> All right, cool. We're going straight there. Coffee Hill. Coffee Hill. All right. Let's see if there's any spirits behind the bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got, we're going to... Uh, Cop Hill now, and then yeah, no, I'll, I'll, I'll see you when we get there, I guess. Well, this just isn't normal, is it? Huh? Why are we driving up here then? <laughs> this is taking us to like some unknown location. Clop Hill, man, it's Clop Hill's on the top of here. It's just in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> What's up, guys? As you can see, we have now literally arrived at Clop Hill, and uh, we're literally gonna have a good look around and see exactly what it's like. Um, I'm gonna read up about it and see exactly what actually happened in this place. As you can see, literally right next to Clop Hill is up quite a scary graveyard, so we're gonna actually see what that's like at a certain time. So, uh, we see what happens. Be burning if we're not even gonna be flying drones or anything, it's just literally us. We're gonna go over and have a good look around. We're gonna wait until it gets a bit dark to see if something does happen. But is it like a high pitch? I was trying to get a hell out of you. Yeah, okay, no, I'd understand. 100%. Not coming after you cause you any problems at all. Oh, she's such a lovely lady. Yeah, no, she's really nice. Yeah. Is she recording? Yeah, lad. <laughs> Well guys, as you can tell, we've had a nice um, lady come up to us and tell <laughs> us uh, that she's certain things that we're not allowed to do. Just, Obviously, we're not here to do that kind of stuff. But literally, like, look at this. Really so, yeah, it's slight. Weird. Yeah, it's slight. Mm. It's not normal, is it? <laughs> <laughs> what is not normal? No. I'm not normal. <laughs> no, I'm not normal. I love it. Right, let's have a look and see what I've uh, got down on here. Um, basically, uh, in 1961, it was called the Old Parish Church. Okay. It's parish. Parish. I did say parish, didn't I? Yeah, but I'm saying it was parish. Oh, well, like, is that I thought you said it was parish. <laughs> yeah, it was the name. Uh, they, they, it was recently called the Old Parish Church, uh, but later relisted under the name of St. Mary's the Virgin. After the lead was stolen from the roof in 1956, the building fell into ruins. In 1960s, the church became a focus of the media attention after a widely report of incidents. Widely. A widely report of incidents. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens <coughs> when you're dyslexic. <laughs> I know, tell me about uh, it. Incidents of graveyards desecration? Uh, desecration? Desecrate. Yeah. Desecration. Desecration. Dece dece no, desecration. 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 Uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 this is going to be quite hard to say this. Uh, was, fo was followed by a series of similar incidents both at, at Clawville and across Britain. On the 6th of March 1963, in the streets of Clawville, 
a local couple saw Stop two. It. Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> saw two kids. Uh, two saw two local youths playing with a human skull. Uh, well, that's uh, not normal, is it? <laughs> you want to have a game of football yeah, offering yeah. the skull? <laughs> Do you want to read this bit? So it's <laughs> got an N. I oh, can't so read. Just... Right. As bad as her grave was. Oh, it's that word again. Desecrated. <laughs> Dis desecrated. Dis desecrated. Right. Just say desecrated. I think that's right. <laughs> again, on two oca occasions before 2nd of April, and the church head came a nighttime attraction for local teenagers. Oh, and Satan worshippers are known to have always used fe female at the centre of their. Ceremonies. That's crazy, man. Bro, that's crazy. All right, let's go and have a nice little look inside and see exactly what we can see because that just sounds female, isn't it? I think it's going to be probably about six because there was six dug up. So right, now we're going to let you go in and have a good, nice, good look around and see what kind of stuff actually happened and see if we can actually find the location of where they actually done this uh, ritual stuff with the. Uh, Wait, it was in this bit here? Yeah, it's in here. Oh shit, I they thought dug it was like up before the it. church was like. Yeah. Oh, 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 that would have been cool if we could go up there. Damaged enough. So guys, we were told that there were some satanic drawings around the wall, but then later by the lovely lady we were told that, that there were Catholic symbols. And the red paint that you can see on it is the original paint. How cool is that? There's like all along. Is it? The one there, know? one here, it's like broken. And then I think there was another one here somewhere. Like, yeah, here. And then like Oh good, we're just looking at these symbols on the wall. All these crosses. So what's the plan then, if we got um, alarms and can't really be here at night time? <sighs> I was hoping I could see if I could speak to the woman and ask her like, um, if she can give us a chance to like, not set the alarm. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, uh, so what are you going to be doing? Apparently ah, she you know, said just... it sets at a certain time, like at dusk or she said in it. Yeah, no, it goes, it sets whenever dusk hits, that's when the alarm it's, starts. It looks like there's light sensors up there. Yeah, so uh, since you come up, or you even get near to the church, and then suddenly yeah. they've got a thing called the sonic boom. Yeah, well, I mean, sonic ah! boom. I mean, yeah. the alarm coming on, I think, is uh, automatic. I think that'd pick so up. As soon as it hits. Uh, yeah, oh yeah. As soon as it gets dark, that just come on. So guys, what I'm going to do now is basically because the lady said that um, after dusk, uh, the alarms and everything go off and it's not going to be long until it actually gets dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go run over, grab my EMF and my EVP and we're going to do a few bits and bobs on that right now. So literally, we just get into the car. We're going to do the EMF and the EVP inside the church and then we're going to head over to the graveyards just beside us here and, and we're going to do some there, see if we can get anything. <coughs> Fingers crossed, see what happens. Oh. Don't explain what you have. So guys, I've got my EMF and I've got my EVP. Basically what's going to happen is we'll go inside now. Uh, we're going to do an EMF reading and an EVP reading. Cool. Let's see what happens. Yeah, let's go. What's up guys, we've done our EVP and the EMF inside the uh, church itself. Uh, we're now going to go over towards the graveyards and hopefully see if we can pick up anything from there. Because we're having no luck at the moment in that place. I'm gonna stand here because it's more light. It's a nice place, but you stand here. I think it's best to do it at night, but because of the alarms. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can go down and speak to that lady again and ask her if it's all right, uh, if it actually triggers off in the graveyard. Because um, if it doesn't trigger off in the graveyard, uh, we do some EVPs and do some light there. Obviously, uh, that pretty much sucks because I would love to go in there when it's dark to go and see if anything happens. Yeah. Also guys, as you can see, basically we come in with the EMF and the EVP. I did bring my uh, the radio again to see if it started doing that funny stuff you see in my previous video. Uh, that actually got quite freaky, that actually happened. But hopefully we pick up something good. Also guys, we literally just got down and spoke to the lovely lady and she's literally just told us that everything that you actually know about this place and read up no. online is a lie. Everything about the kids that uh, found the skull, um, about even about the graveyards that got dug up, the six females, everything is a lie. Um, we got told 
that these were satanic, but they're not. What are they? They're just Catholic symbols. Catholic symbols. Basically, um, everything's just alive. So this, this is probably the reason why we picked up nothing on our EVPs. Nothing on the EVPs. Huh? I was about to say that. Yeah. Like, we just got nothing. <laughs> yeah. like, I was asking questions. Yeah. I haven't. I, it spiked once. It went 37, and then it just didn't didn't do anything after. I literally, when I first started driving up it, I was actually scared to come here. Like I was thinking, like so weird shit's gonna something's happen. gonna happen. Like we're gonna get someone's gonna jump out of us. Gonna <laughs> scare us. I'm gonna literally crap myself because I haven't even gone to the toilet yet. Guy in the bed she just goes, <laughs> yeah. And the funny thing is, is that the woman even told us that. Um, the, the photo monk. of the monk, yeah, oh. the photo of the monk, there's actually a photo out there um, of a guy, uh, or a monk, you can see kind of going into the doorway, but she literally just told us that they, she saw the guy come up, yeah, I'll let you they, yeah, no, they, they watched the guy um, dress up as a monk and his friend, like the reporter guy, take pictures of him, mm. so that was just a lie. Everyone was a lie. Like, just go from there. Which he's finished, I think. So yeah, we're finishing up nicely. Yes. Yeah. Oh, my hair looks good. <laughs> my hair doesn't. So, guys, basically, what I'm like, going to say. I haven't even got my hat on today. I'm going to say it over here so I don't interrupt into his message. But literally, don't forget to subscribe to Larry's channel. It's down in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to his channel. He's just literally Big done his exactly like me. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. <coughs> Hit that bell button to keep yourself notified every time I post a new video.